Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I want to show a little bit of what I did with my Fractus nodes. Uh, definitely helps a lot with switching my server over from the dual Xeon 2690V2s to the 3950X. And it's quite interesting. Now, if you don't know what the Fractus nodes are on Flux, they're basically cumulus nodes, but without the processing, and it's a 10 terabyte spinning hard drive attached to it for hard drive storage versus actual compute power that the Cumulus does and runs apps. If you look at my uh, FluxNode page right here, you can see I got four of them running right now. They've all passed. They just tested. You can see the FluxSauce version and the Bench version. Now, if I scroll over, what we're really looking at is the EPS numbers because that's how strong you can use your CPU basically. It's executions per second. Um, minimum for Cumulus or Fractus is 240. When I was running them on the Xeon V2, I would get about 320 for each one. And that would be running a dedicated two core four thread VM for each one. I changed it up a little bit more. Now, if I switch over to Nebula, which is my Unraid server, which is hosting my four Flux nodes, you can see I am running an AMD Ryzen 9 3950X CPU in here, running at base clock speed. No PBO, no overclock, 3.5 gigahertz max. Now, normally you would give it two cores, four threads per each VM. And if you do that, your EPS goes from base to about five to 600 on each. It's, it's massive overkill, especially when you're not doing any processing. Um, switch back on over. We're gonna go to what's called CPU pinning. It allows you to select which threads and cores are active for each VM. So if I click in here, you can see flux node one, two, three, and four, all four of them are running on the exact same two cores, two hyper threads, which is two cores, four threads. They're not dedicated. I'm running all four of them on there. And even with the retesting, it fluctuates a little bit. It gets a little close on some of them, like 259. I had one or two, if they were double testing at the same time, like every four hours, they retest. And it would be just under. The flux node automatically recalls and does another benchmark real quick, and it always passes. So instead of having to use almost half of the CPU just for flux nodes, and it doesn't even use the computing power, I just push them all off onto one. I have all this available use for the CPU now for whatever I want to. So I know you can do this in Unraid. I don't know if you can do CPU pinning and Proxmox. You definitely don't think you can do it in ESXi. Tains has looked into it and he hasn't found anything for it yet. So it's definitely something you can do in Unraid. Maybe FreeNAS has CPU pinning. I've never played with it. Now, again, if you're running an older like uh, V1, V2, probably even V3 or V4 Xeon CPUs, you're probably not gonna be able to do this. Maybe the V3, V4, you might be able to do two at a time uh, because the reason why Let's take a look here. Now on cpubenchmark.net, I have loaded up the E5 2690V2, which is what I had originally. I had two of them on a motherboard and the Ryzen 9 3950X. Um, at this point, it doesn't really matter about the CPU mark. What you're looking at is the single core performance. Single thread rating on the Xeon was only 1889. Look at the single thread rating on your Ryzen 9. That's why I can get away, as long as all four of them don't test at the same time. Uh, if you can look, you can see they usually test together, two and four test together, and four and, or sorry, one and three test together. So they're testing two at a time. I have more than enough compute power that I can easily handle this on a single thread rating to process them. And it's not like they're doing any work anyway. So it's basically free money from Flux. As long as you have the 10 terabyte hard drives available and if a 3900X or a 3950X, you only need to use two cores, four threads for as, at least four 
VMs. So if you could run all eight instances of Fractus, you might have to use four cores, eight threads of a CPU total, because I think running four VMs on the same is kind of maxing it out anymore, and you won't get the correct executions per second, and it'll keep failing on you. And this definitely would not work on Cumulus nodes because they actually use the compute power. You'll probably fail out for one reason or another. Although I'm not running any Cumulus, you might be able to do it with two VMs on the same two cores, four threads, if you have a beefy enough CPU. If you only require to have 240, and for some reason you're getting like 540, 560 in your testing, double them up. They're not paying you anything extra for the extra executions per second. So you might as well free up more CPU resources and use it for whatever else you want to. So this is all I have for this video. Just this interesting little test that me and Tains were playing with the other day. And it's been running perfectly fine ever since I've done this. It's probably two to three days already in here. And I've had one retest. That's it. <clears throat> and it immediately passed right afterwards. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please. Come say hi over to Misfit Mining Discord, and I will catch you on the next video.